Hey what up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more CK2 action. So yeah, basically when we last left off I posed the question whether or what I should do with the King of the, or the Lord Paramount I should say, of the Eerie uh, because he declared a war for independence. Now I have enforced my demands upon him because obviously we won that and he would not stand a chance. So we enforce our demands and then a option will pop up in a second. Here we go. We have uh, called him for justice because we have crushed his rebellion and uh, yeah he stands before me and I ask you guys what you think I should do if I should let him bend the knee or I should send him to my dungeon and hold him as a prisoner or I should just forfeit his land and uh, a load of you made up a good point I actually forgot but I married him to Sansa so um, that kind of has to play a part in this because obviously my sister would plead for his life because I'm pretty sure oh no oh no hold on she doesn't even like me, but what's her opinion of him? I can't quite see what her opinion of him. But obviously she would be in love with him because they are married and they have had some kids together. So she would obviously plead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him bend the knee. Just this one time, but if he decides to go up against me again, then I will execute him. No word of a lie. I will straight up just cut off his head. I will do it myself. Uh, or I'll send him to the wall, one or the other. He will either forfeit his lands or just straight up get executed because I'll let him live once because my sister pleaded with me to let him live but if he if he dared do it again then I would execute him until next time so all these lords should now go back under me same the north the north the north so all our land is now returned which looks beautiful I can colonize old stone uh, what are you doing you're trying to marry your son to one of my bastards yes no yes yeah, that's your son he is he's heir to the veil as well no that would be kind of like incest even though it would be pure blood okay cool so why is the west of westeros at war why are they not under the iron islands um let's have a look they are attacking pentos they're invading pentos jesus and it's at zero war score, which is nice. That's actually probably one of the best things which could have happened for us. Because now we can straight up just claim Lannisport. We can. So let's get it. Let's go ahead and keep it paused. Let's go ahead and declare war for Pentos quickly. Um, we can claim the Stormlands for who? Someone in the Twins. He's died of a horrible disease. So yeah, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and claim... Pen uh, claim Lannisport even really quickly. Obviously, go ahead and raise my main vassals straight away, uh, and I will go ahead and split these dudes up into two units. So fourteen thousand can go there, fourteen thousand can go there, and I'll do the same with um, with these units. I'm actually probably going to lose a few of these men to attrition, but it should overall be pretty fine. And how much does he like me now? Um, and obviously, they decided to join me. So he he likes me seventy five percent, even though he's fought a war against a war against me. And because I captured his banner as well when I took the Eerie. But at least the, the Riverlands are extremely loyal to me. Which is nice. I guess I did win us our independence. So Edmir would support me. And he's not even married into my family or anything. I would imagine I married someone to him. I should have married what's her face to Edmir. I should have married her. Uh, I can't remember what she's called. Um, hold on. Let me try to find her. Parents, parents, parents? I think. No, it's not that one. I really can't be bothered to look for her because she's so many. They have so many children in the twins. It just goes forever. Let's go ahead and just start moving some units in. I don't really want to go f like full charge into the Lannisters' lands because they might just have like a big bulk of men uh, just ready to come mess me up. Are they fighting for independence? No, they just, for whatever reason, didn't want to join the war. So hopefully, when we take Lannisport, we can then start taking lands that she has claims on. Because she does have a claim on the Westerlands, because she is a Lannister. Meaning, hopefully we can make her our Lord Paramount. That would be brilliant if we could do that. Oh my god, has Danny been taken prisoner? She has. That is funny. Why didn't she, oh, she hasn't tamed her dragons yet either, so that's probably why she just got taken prisoner. Let's just move into Castle Yorke. All these people are not joining this war at all. I don't think I need, even need to raise these men. But I mean, like, I might as well. There's no harm in doing so. But none... Oh, crap. They actually have a load of men there. I need to be a little fuck. We need to get men over there ASAP. 
Hopefully we can win that. Pause it straight away so I can put leaders in this army. Uh, are you a... I'm an inspirational leader, am I not? I am. So I should... Oh, but I don't really want to die. This could be extremely risky because they have a lot more men than me. Then we may have another 15,000 there. Uh, can I back out in time? That's the question. Okay, 16th. They'll arrive. I'll get out on the 13th. So I will get out in time. No. I'll get out on the same day. Okay, this is going to be extremely risky. I will leave the men, just in case we do get attacked. And he's a flanker as well. Yes, brilliant. That means his flanking is plus 20. And then these men are actually on their way, along with the Riverlands. I might just straight up just hold ground. Even though they do have a lot of men. If we can get to here, that would be perfect. Can we get out in time? Yes, brilliant. We did just manage to get out in time. Which means I kind of want to hold my ground here, because... Yeah, let's go ahead and hold the ground here, because I feel like we should be able to beat this army. We have reinforcements coming from two directions. Yeah, they piss off now. They decided to hold their tracks when they saw all the men. Oh, they are actually going to charge me. All the men. All the men just going there. This is going to be one big old battle. So i got 34,000 then, another 12,000 here. So I should just about outnumber them. Okay, that's 21,000. I'm actually I'm gonna have 31,000 and try and kill that army sometime soon. Because I should be able to beat it straight up in combat because my commanders are a lot better than theirs. Well, I would assume at least. Hopefully the Riverland still follows me because if they don't, that could be kind of awkward. I still can't believe the Eerie didn't join my war. Bunch of dicks. Oh, I already have 31,000, 33,000 without them then. So let's march on Castle Rock. We'll go ahead and besiege Castle Rock, giving us some war score. And I'll split the men up in between Lannisport, this place, and uh, Castle Rock so I can easily get my men to where they need to be in case I get assaulted. So let's go down here. I can't even remember what Silver Hall, because that will give us some money as well for besieging that. There their army is. Okay, we want to engage this army and bring this army around the side for reinforcements. Because if I can kill this army, then basically that means I don't have to bulk up my men like this and it means I can just scatter them around and just carpet siege. Okay, we did actually manage to beat me there, which was kind of unfortunate. This 11,000 is actually just going to straight on go to Castle Rock. I just need to fucking catch this army, that's a the problem. They're too fast. Oh, I should just put an organiser. And then change him. Oh no, there we go, we managed to catch them. And by the looks of it, their commanders, look how weak their commanders are. They're just not good at all. So as soon as we engage in the melee, yeah, as you can see, we've got classic shield wall going there. Oh, that's not too good. Faint tactics, good. I prefer if it was a bit better. They've got a cavalry charge going. I think it's always really interesting to see all of this um, go on, because it's something a lot of people just ignore and don't bother looking at these, but like... This kind of does detail the battles quite a lot about what the flanks are doing. But just no one really looks at it. We managed to kill their centre. I'm not sure if I killed him personally or what, but he didn't last too long. So let's go ahead and charge it down. I'm not sure what one it's going to. It could actually be this one. No, it is going to this one. So we're going to actually find it and hopefully completely kill it. And the Iron Throne does not look like they're going to win their war anytime soon. Or the Iron Islands. I should say. You're only 64%. Uh, I should probably try and win it a little bit quicker. 41,000 men there, though. We're at 92%. Are you not going to accept my demands? You're not. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, who are you? Are you my son? You're close here. Yeah, you are my son. What son are you, though? You're my second son? You are. I kind of want to have a military command. It costs so much, though. That is literally... Oh, almost 200 gold that just cost me. Hurts me inside. Oh, we also need a siege command. Let's pause it quickly so I can choose a siege commander. Doesn't really matter what their marshal is. Anyone will do. Have we only got one siege commander and that's me? But the looks of it, I am the only siege commander in the army. So we might as well stick uh, myself in this army whilst we take Lannisport because we need to take it as quick as possible. We've got 26,000 as well, which I'm probably just going to straight up assault Castle Rock just to get some money. Oh, there you go. 100%. Enforce demands. 
lovely. The war has ended and we've gone ahead and captured Lannisport. We actually lose some men. I guess for whatever reason this isn't class as mine at the moment. How weird. Oh, so I actually got the city as well, Southgate? Is that just a castle? I'm not quite sure why it's not called Lannisport. Because I, I guess the castle's just not called Lannisport. So how many ships does that give me now? That's the kind of the main thing. So that's pretty much double the amount of ships I can have. Which is pretty nice. And it's also giving me a load more claims by the looks of it. I can't declare war on him because of our truces. I can claim the reach Sorry about that guys, I quickly had to go and do something uh, quite important, so I had to stop the video, for, well at least recording for a while, but yeah, I'm back now to carry it on. Uh, so yeah, basically we were just, before I had to go, we were discussing whether to take the reach for my wife, which when she passes away, um, will then eventually go to my son, um, Eddard. Or if she does pass away, maybe it would go to me. Well, no, it'd probably go to him first. It'd probably go to my son. It'd probably never go to me. So, yeah, if we were to take the Reach, then what we would do is it, then the heir would be Prince Eddard. And then when we finally died, Eddard would inherit the whole of the Reach, uh, the Vale, the Riverlands, and the North, and our bit, our part of Lannisport. So, yeah, this is really the question I want to pose to you guys. I'll click play whilst it's doing as well. Uh, the question I want to pose to you guys right now is do you want me to go ahead and go for a reach? Because um, many of you don't think... Um, many of you don't think that I should go south and mess with the southern lords. You think I should go over to Essos? But say I was to take the reach, that would give me a hell of a lot of boats. And especially if I personally owned it, I could appoint someone who would be fit to govern it, who would like me, and that could, you know, kind of extremely go in my favour. But then again, like, many of you don't want me to mess with the Southern Lords because, you know, who cares about the work of the Southerners? The only reason we took Lannisport was because uh, we wanted the ships, like, and we did. We doubled our ships, which was kind of nice. Maybe we could even take some of the... Uh, the Iron Islands, because I mean the Iron Islands are kind of still up by the north. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'll let you guys decide in um, the comments. So, yeah, just tell me if you want me to go for the north, or you think I should just then just decide to go and try and take on some of the uh, the people in Essos. I still can't believe that she died. Oh, Danny's died. How sad. How what did she die of? She was executed by who? By wise master someone that is funny i can't believe she died so the only living targaryen left is aegon targaryen who's about to oh no he had children so the targaryen line is still alive travels bring rumors of fire and blood they say that a wild beast escapes from the dungeons of prince aegon the, <laughs> the cool lands points and has built a layer in Dryer Den, Dryer Den. Let's go ahead and find that. Dry... I can't remember how you... Dryer Den? Let's see if it's here. Dragon... Let's try to find it. Dry Well? No. I can't remember how they spell it. If I see it, though, I would know. Oh, that's cool, though, that... Dragons could be around. Does he have a dragon? He doesn't actually have a dragon. Maybe he was trying to tame one and then he died. Oh, no, okay, his son. Rhaegar Targaryen, his son. So he obviously named that. Whoa. All these plots are happening. Do I not have... Why are all these plots going off? Uh, this is the one I get rid of. Jesus Christ, why is the noise just making... Why is this all happening so quickly? Go away. Um, yeah, but that's really cool that the dragons are actually in Westeros. So this could make things a lot more interesting. It kind of give a bit of a challenge as well. So we need to educate one of our sons. He's come of age. Obviously, we will go ahead and take this honour. Oh my god, hold on. I'm going to change that in a fucking second. This is just annoying. Um, no, what do we want to go to? We want to go to... Uh, message settings. We want to go plot. Intrigue. Yeah, go Intrigue. 
um, and all this. I don't even know what to click on, this always confuses me. Oh, I don't care, we'll just turn it down if it carries on getting annoying. Uh, so we got weak claims. Oh, so we could actually... Oh, there it is. What? It's not this place, no. Oh, that's the dude. I thought there was a loose dragon in my fucking place. So where's that? Will it show me where it is? Oh, I've become a poor fighter. That sucks. I am getting pretty old, though. Oh, so it is in this place. I just wasn't really paying attention. I must not have looked properly. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's that province. What a surprise. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn that sound down just a little bit because it's kind of getting a bit annoying. Um, so, yeah. Unmarried heir. My son, uh, Eddard, is coming of age with his 18 marshal, which is pretty insane for a 14 year old and as soon as he gets ice as well what does ice do is it plus 10 uh, plus one yes yeah, so ice will give him another plus uh, percentage which will be pretty nice uh, so yeah we'll need to go ahead and find him a suitable marriage obviously someone of pure blood or noble blood i should say should we marry him to a targaryen yeah actually that's a cool idea so yeah as well as whether to take the reach or not for my son should i marry my son to a targaryen and keep the line even though I can't marry to like, I won't keep the line going because I will marry it matrilineally. Um, unfortunately I can't get one matrilineally because he would not accept it which is unfortunate. That would be pretty nice if we could. Um, but yeah, should I marry the Targaryen princess, or not princess, the Targaryen girl? Who is actually called Daenerys. She isn't that great at the moment. She's got a, a stewardship for an 11 year old. She also has a status, so maybe my son and her can have have a nice time. Uh, so, say we were about to arrange a betrothal between her and my son. Would they accept? They would accept. So, yeah, maybe um, maybe we can marry a Targaryen, but it's up to you guys if you want me to. But that will be for next episode, I think. I have claims on Old Stone and then weak claims on pretty much all of that. The Iron Islands are just going in. Look at them. They've taken all of this. They've taken the whole of Pentos now. And they're just going to keep on going. There's, it's going to end up being a big old clash of empires. Because I own half of Westeros. They own half of Westeros. And actually some of the Iron Islands. And some of uh, Pentos as well. Or Essos I should say. Um, my wife is pregnant again. Lovely. She has given me a load of children. Hopefully it's another boy. That would be brilliant. Uh, so you want to you want, still want to marry her. You just want claims on me. Um, the king of the crown lands wants to, well, he's not even a king anymore, he lost the crown lands, which is funny, also wants to marry her. I guess they just all want to freaking get her, uh, get claims on the north, because it's so big, I guess. Um, so, Prince Brunette of the north is very rude to people in your court. I could do that, which would gain the trait rude, which is minus everything, pretty much. Or I could do that. I could gain the trait Ruffle. Ruffle's not bad. Because it gives him Martial. But it decreases Intrigue and Diplomacy. Okay, let's see what he gets. He gets Rude. Which is, you know, not, that was kind of a, the thing we were hoping didn't happen. The travellers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say that a wild dragon beast escaped from the dungeons of Belon of Khazar Pass. And has made uh, built a lair. So there's... Is there more dragons now? So he is a wild dragon. Does she have one now? She does not have one. It'd be kind of cool if she did get a dragon. Because then we could marry her and then we would have a dragon at our disposal. Which would be kind of cool. Um, so Eddard is still 14. He's now a formidable fighter. So his health has gone up, which is really nice. Because it means he'll live a lot longer and he'll be more likely to win in jewels. And especially in jewels, he's got the duelist ability, which goes towards that. And ice will also go towards that to aid him. So he should be pretty much unbeatable in battle. As long as the odds are in his favour. Unfortunately, our cast of Leon died. So we'll go ahead and add... The ha oh, our hand of a king died even. So I'll give Rickon the chance to be my hand. And Bernard is all... I'm going to call him Bernard from now, even though he's Bennett. But he's got to call Bernard. So he's also learning swordsmanship under my guidance, which is good. And my wife is pregnant. As soon as my wife does actually give birth, then I will probably go ahead and get to go ahead and fabricate some claims for me, because that'd be nice. He's fighting. Who are you fighting now? Some small lords. 
by the looks of it. And I still have all my claims. I can claim the Stormlands for her. Oh yeah, we already looked at that earlier. Can I go ahead? Because if you kill the person you have a truce with, the truce goes. So if I was to kill this dude, would people... Not really, people wouldn't want to have that. Because if we were to go ahead and kill him, then our well, truce time would go. He's also a tyrant. Uh, so I could lose the trait stressed, which is very nice, because it means my health goes back up, meaning I'm less likely to die. Or I could gain fertility. Um, yeah, I'd rather lose the trait stressed. Oh, let's see. What does he want? So this is a hooded man. This is... Um, so you pretty much just kill anyone. But he wants to kill my son, um, which is obviously not going to hap happen, because my son is everything to me. Good old Eddard. He will live on the line. Uh, so while hunting in the forest, your child, Burnett Stark, came across some poachers who kidnapped him. The vile uh, scoundrels are now threatening his life, asking for a large sum of money to free him. I shall pay uh, 182 gold, or not. Um, I'll send my master at arms. Who is my master at some arms? It's Morgan, isn't it? And he's got a 25 fight. How did he get his marshal so high? He is crazy. I swear he isn't. So two from six from skill commander, four from formidable fighter, two brave. His is crazy. Um, I'll send Brandon to go get him back. Oh Morgan even to go get him back. Fingers crossed he'll get back. Yeah, he's back safely. Good. I I thought I could trust in John Snow's bastard son. With his many babies. Oh cool. Another son. Lovely. Lots of sons. Which is always nice. Oh, some of his children are dying. Stillborn. A suspicious circumstance. I probably murdered her. Probably. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode now because it's actually been a while. And I'm not sure because obviously I didn't reset my... I mean, I reset my timer. So I'm not actually sure how much we recorded. But I will just stick this together as one episode anyway for, for you guys. So if it's longer, then I hope you guys watch it all and enjoy. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, tell me what you want me to do, whether you want me to go ahead and claim the Reach, uh, which will eventually get passed on to Eddard, once my mo mother is, uh, once my mother is dead, and we can always kill her at some point, um, if it needs, like, if the time, if I, maybe if Rob dies and I want to have the Reach now, I could just go ahead and kill my mum, and then I would inherit it, which would be pretty nice. So yeah, tell me what you, want me to, what you want me to do there, and there was also something else, but I cannot remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, if you wanted me to marry a Targaryen, and then that I'd like, ca like not carry on the line, but have Targaryen blood mixed with my blood. Um, so yeah, tell me that in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time, and fish out.